Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. First of all, apologies for my appearance. Um, this is just the way that I look. So honestly, maybe I shouldn't apologize because I just look like this. Basically, this video has been planned because you know me, content queen. I'm always thinking about what my future videos are going to be. And this was supposed to be a kind of self-care, unfiltered vlog, getting my life together. Now, I woke up this morning and I was slightly alarmed because I check my phone every morning as a lot of people do and not once single notification. You know, sometimes I wake up, I have a couple texts to look at, I have a couple, you know, Snapchats maybe to look at, nothing. Not a single notification, not even any email notification. So I'm like, oh, maybe today's just one of those days where the phone's very dry. But then I look a little deeper, I look a little further. No Wi-Fi connection, no service. We have a service shutdown for my provider on my phone, which is Rogers. Early this morning, the whole entire system's shut down. So the Wi-Fi in my house is Rogers and my actual provider is Rogers. So I can't even get onto any data. This is the times when I wish I was on bell. So the day that I thought I was going to have is going very differently. It was a little bit peaceful though, I can't lie, because I didn't have anything to worry about on my phone. What I've decided to do is obviously without a choice, I have to live without my phone. But I thought, why not enjoy it? Take advantage of this time to be disconnected from social media, from any other person that's not in my direct vicinity. And it almost felt like a blessing of sorts because yesterday I had this kind of impulse in my mind where I was like, I wish I could run away for three days and have no contact with anybody and then come back just three days though. And the reason why I was feeling that way is because I think I've just been really overwhelmed lately. I've had a lot of shit going on in my life. Not crazy, just a lot of things. Like many things just in every aspect of my life. I've also been still sick, mind you. If you guys watched my last video, I was really sick. I kind of like recovered for like three days and then got sick again. I think I have a sinus infection. I talked to a doctor, he said, no, you don't have a sinus infection. And then later that day I got a fever. <laughs> um, he prescribed me a nasal spray instead of a antibiotic. I feel a splitting pain just kind of like in this region of my sinus. Um, I'm also, you know, blowing my nose and I hate to tell you guys this, but there's blood coming out of it. So I woke up this morning and I was like, do I have a brain bleed? Um, am I hemorrhaging? <sighs> a lot of things. All right, so basically what I wanted to do today, clean my room, laundry. I need to go buy new protein. I also need to go to the gym. I was kind of debating on going to the gym. Um, and also a little bit of hair care, because as you can see, what the fuck is that? You know, there's gonna be no reason or rhyme to today's video. I hope you guys are in for just a lot of me talking and a lot of just looking at my face all day because that's so much, all you're gonna get. I like to make my entertaining vlogs. If you want to see some of those, click here. But if you're in for a more humble, more peaceful, more real vlog, then that's what you're gonna get today. With that being said, like I told you guys, my life has been extremely hectic. My life has been really, como se dice, overwhelming. I think today was meant to happen. It was meant to happen for me to have a nice little calm break to just exist without any other thing in my mind. I hope you guys all take days off to just relax, to just exist, to take care of yourself, mental, emotional, physical and one way that you guys can do that is with better help which is our sponsor of today and i'm going to take you guys to future alex to talk a little bit about better help hello welcome to future alex speaking to you about our sponsor today which is better help so of course thank you to better help for sponsoring this video so a lot of the times there are things that interfere with our happiness or prevent us from reaching our goals for me sometimes life gets really hectic and i need to slow down and just realize that i can take things one day at a time and focus on myself among other things that are going on. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist. It's not a crisis line or self-help, it's professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counseling network, which may not be available locally in your area. This service is available for clients worldwide, and you can log into your account at any time and message your counselor. The great thing is that you get thoughtful and timely responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room ever again like you would with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's much more affordable than traditional offline counseling and they offer financial aid. So with that being said, BetterHelp wants you to live a happier life today. So you can visit betterhelp.com slash Alex Adams, that's better H-E-L-P, to get 10% off your first month. So if this is something that you guys are interested in or are looking into at all, go check out the links down below. I always preach to take care of your mental health and if this is what it takes, by all means, go ahead. Don't be afraid. 
I go to therapy too. Okay, back to the vlog without any technology. I have my technology back now, spoiler alert, but uh, yeah, enjoy. So what I wanted to do is refresh my hair a little bit. I just washed it last night. I slept on it weird and it looks like this. Before I left to California, I got it toned. So obviously when you dye your hair, the uh, color fades after a while, right? It already faded. As you can see, it looks like it's orange again. But that's really depressing to me because, you know, you spend about $200 and it lasts about two weeks. Do I want to go back to my original hair color? Kinda. Am I gonna go back and spend $400 to get my hair back to its original color? No. So am I just gonna live with it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit. I bought this new hair mask. And you might be wondering, why are you putting a hair mask into your hair? Strictly because I have a lot of heavy, thick, coarse hair. When I put this on, it helps to create a little bit more definition, a little bit more wave. Hey. So this is the Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. And I also feel like I need it because my hair is super dry. So basically what I want to do today is just get everything done that I wanted to get done in the first place. Just this time with no technology. Could be an interesting little social experiment. Fun fact for you guys. I actually like doing my laundry. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I am so bad at doing it regularly because, you know, the last thing on your mind when you're living your life is laundry. But then you get ready one day and you're like, oh, where are all my socks? Oh, maybe in the laundry because you haven't done it in two weeks, Alex, you stupid idiot. So when I get to do my laundry, it feels like I have a whole new wardrobe that's back. So since I came home, I've been going out too much, wearing less and going out more. Glasses and champagne on, on the dance floor. And I think that might have to do with why I haven't fully recovered from my sickness because I got sick when I was like home for like two days from my trip. So I was just like, oh, okay, like maybe I just have a cold. So yeah, I've been going out a lot. So if you live in Toronto and you want to go out with me, let me know. It's hot girl summer, feral girl summer. Okay, so I got ready for my day of adventure. These are Levi shorts from Urban Outfitters, I'm pretty sure. And then this is a little Princess Polly tank top. I'm gonna wear some like little slippers because it's pretty hot outside. <laughs> Basically, now on my to-do list, I am going to buy some tampons, just girly things. Need to buy some more protein, cause I ran out. And then, oh, I hit the garbage cans. <sighs> my neighbor just saw that happen. The amount of times that that's happened to me when I'm filming is too many. It's a bit alarming. Okay, breaking news. I purchased my things. They were having a deal, so I got more than I needed. They had buy one, get one 50% off. So I got my protein. Um, this is the Quattro chocolate flavored protein drink. I got my EAA performance supplement. I went to Revita Size, which is my favorite place ever to get smoothie bowls. Can't really see it. This is the Acai Cloud Bowl. So far, I've only been like not even halfway through my day, and it's been so weird. It's so interesting, guys. Like, I was just thinking about how, how so many people are being affected by this right now. Like, it's not just me. There are millions of people who are in the same boat as me. And, like, what does their day look like? Because we rely so heavily on our technology. And not only just social media or whatever, but it's just in forms of communication with people that we don't see. Like, we're able to feel so close with people in our day-to-day -day lives, even if we don't see them for a couple weeks or a couple months. It's really making me reflect and making me think about these things. Like, I talk talk to my friends like every single day even if I don't see them so I always know what they're doing I always know how they're feeling I know what they're you know thinking but today I don't and I was also thinking like I'm leaving the house nobody's gonna be able to contact me there's no way of finding out where I am what I'm doing who I'm with like I'm really just out here in the world existing and nobody would be able to find me I really wonder when they're gonna fix this because our world relies so heavily on this that like god forbid there could be some dangers happening right now that's my little reflective moment on today and how it's been so far but I do think I want to go to the gym later on because um I don't really have 
anything else to do. I had to wake up Mariella. She was sleeping. It's 3 p.m. Um, and we're going to go to the gym. So I just need to figure out I'm gonna wear. I have all my gym stuff down here at the bottom of my closet. This is not even a workout shirt, but I wear it sometimes as that. I wanna wear some shorts today because it's hot. These shorts, just some black shorts, I think. For everybody that's wondering, all the actual athletic wear that I have is from Shein. I'm not proud of my fast fashion purchasing, but athletic wear is expensive. And I bought this all when I started working out because I didn't have any. Let me know some good athletic brands that you guys shop from for the gym. I like the cutesy stuff, like the cute little sets. The gym outfit has been picked out. I went with the shorts and then I did this shirt with sports bra underneath it because it shows my nipples if I don't. Um, I always put a shirt on on top because I'm shy. And I wear a shirt first and then it ends up getting hot. And then I take it off, but today we're gonna wear this big old shirt so I can walk in modestly like the woman of God that I am. This is the full get up for the gym today. Let's go have a good gym day, baby. <laughs> post gym now. I had a really good workout though. I felt like I was gonna die. So when that happens, to me, feels like it's a good workout. I need to eat. I made some fried rice yesterday, so I'll probably eat that. Normally I would pick up my phone and bring it down with me, but <laughs> what's the point, right? What a day. I know. Let's talk to the cats and see how their day has been. How has your day been without any Wi-Fi? A little different? How has your day been? She's a little meaner. She likes to use her claws. All right, so her day has been shit, clearly. Bad attitude. My beverage of choice. Why don't we have any cups? Everything's going to shit today, huh? Guess I'll use this beer cup. You know, I think I couldn't have chosen a better day to do this because I have someone to talk to. Like, even though I'm alone in this house, and don't even have any other source of entertainment. I have you guys. And the fact that it's an unfiltered video, you're really getting, you're really getting the most that I ever talk on this channel. I think I really need some socialization after this. Um, am I go crazy? I think I'm just gonna get in my car later and just leave. Okay, I think that's enough of this. I'm gonna sit with my thoughts for a bit. I have reached my breaking point. So post dinner, um, I sat in my bed. I thought about reading a book. Instead, I started writing in my notes. Um, and then I started thinking about all the things that I haven't been able to do today. It's 7 p.m. So I drove over to Tim Hortons and we're gonna see if this works. If not, I'm going to a different location. I brought my laptop. I need to do some shit. I literally feel lost in the world. I feel like I was so positive earlier, but right now I'm losing it. There's someone doing the exact same thing next to me right now. How funny. It works, it works, it works, it works. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. My friend just texted me this. Crazy how the world burns when networks are down. If anyone wanted to create a war, start by taking down all the cell phone towers and take down Rogers and Bell's networks, then also cut all power lines. Watch how many people panic, myself included, the purge. I think that sums up <laughs> today, to be honest. Okay, why is my text not sending now? Wait, why am I not connected to the Wi Fi anymore? <laughs> So I'm gonna call it quits because <laughs> Lord knows what's gonna happen to me for the rest of the day. With that being said, let me know if you guys like the unfiltered vlogs. Um, I'm not gonna always do unfiltered vlogs. I kind of want to do a healthy mix of when I do like more editing and more different styled vlogs. But if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you guys would react if you were in this situation or if you were in this situation and you're a Canadian and you were on Rogers and it completely derailed your whole entire day. Let me know how that went for you. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my socials down below. I do have my new season of my podcast coming out very soon. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.